Welcome to today's video and in this video I'm going to lovingly remind you and maybe lovingly kick your ass a little bit um, to remind you that you always have time uh, to get something in that can help you shift. So I'm a really, really big fan of making things uh, super practical, even though I channel, even though I, my crown is open and I channel in messages and I'm very connected in that way. We're on the earth plane, so we want to have really practical, grounded ways, right, to do things. And I know that in this day and age, you know, where a lot of us are so busy and there's a lot to juggle and there's a lot going on. So I want to share with you three little things that I, I do all the time um, and they're kind of, e they're just so easy and there's always a way to get this into your day. So just to kind of keep the connection going, to keep yourself connected to yourself and and really, you know, so you don't come off this whole track of even doing any kind of inner anything, right? And there's always room for this. So if you've got like six or seven kids and three dogs and like five businesses, you can do these things and there's no way that you can't. So here are the three things. They're super easy. Every time, number one, every time you go to the toilet and you pee, right? You just imagine as you do this, you are releasing because you are you're releasing toxins and everything. You're releasing whatever it is that you want to release right now. So it could be uh, you just release. You imagine you release stress. You're releasing those old beliefs. Maybe you're releasing the old version of you that doesn't do it like this anymore. Maybe you're relief releasing um those thoughts that you were having that no longer serve you, whatever it is, take your pick. But as you pee, you just imagine yourself releasing and it is done, right? And I love doing that because you always have to go to the bathroom at some point in your day. So you absolutely cannot use the excuse that there's no time. You always have to pee. So that's the first one. Number two, when you go and wash your hands, and of course we always wash our hands afterwards, go to, go to the bathroom, wash your hands. And as you wash your hands, as you allow the water to you know, wash your hands, Hands and you know you're there tell yourself something kind and bonus if you can look in the mirror usually there's a mirror around if you can look in the mirror look yourself in the eye and tell yourself something kind reassuring or supportive something that you can tell yourself because most of the time we go about in the day and often if you've got a massive inner critic which most people do you will just not kind of talk to yourself in a very nice way this is very simple but it can be such a powerful transformational thing if you do it consistently because you will start to rewire your mind and you'll start to shift how you even relate to yourself it's incredibly powerful both of these ones are and then number three every time you have a drink so whether it's tea coffee a water a herbal tea a juice a protein shake whatever it is a smoothie every time you have a drink as you're drinking it you're just gonna feed yourself a reminder of something that you're grateful for in this moment it could be the drink itself it could be where you are in that moment it could be that you know something happening in your life that day it could be something really simple it could be grateful for your something inside of your body um anything grab something but every time you drink you sit and you have a drink you're training yourself to just acknowledge something that's going on in your life if you do these three things and you do them every day and you did them regularly consistently you're going to start to shift you're going to start to feel more connected you're going to start to feel kinder to yourself you're going to start to feel more conscious gratitude of course we already know that gratitude creates more of that same energy but sometimes we struggle with gratitude because we think we have to write loads of lists and do a very head-based exercise. Let's make this as easy as humanly possible. So try these three things. Let me know how it feels. Pop a comment below. I'd love to hear. And uh, yeah, and practice and see what it feels like. And also see if these feel a little bit uh, challenging for you. And if they do, it's usually just because we haven't worked that muscle. So a lot of people will struggle with number two, where we are telling ourselves something kind, reassuring or supportive. And that was me many years ago. I never did it. It felt really fake it felt really even uncomfortable but actually again if you just know that it's a practice know that the more you do it you'll start to develop the muscle you'll get stronger you'll get better and then it starts to become second nature we have to be able to talk to ourselves uh, in a positive way because we have so much negative self-talk otherwise so try these three things let me know how they feel for you and I still to this day do these three things I do them I've been doing them for years um and I I was in a conversation with someone recently where I shared this and it really assisted them so I thought I'll share it with you here um because yeah I know that many of you will find some benefit from this so let me know all right take care have a lovely rest of your day week whenever you're tuning in and I'll talk to you very soon okay bye for now